Hi all, so today's uh, job is fitting this large fitted wardrobe. As you can see that we've um, spent a good hour unloading the van, bringing in all the materials. So the materials are a selection of 18, um, shall I say 19 mil and seven mil oak veneer, um, possibly a few 26 mil oak veneer pieces um, to do all the interior and um, yeah, painted door. So we had quite a lot to do there. So as you can see, bearers going down and I'm just leveling up all the spots where the sides of the wardrobes are going to be transferring their load down um, so each um, one of those blocks is a side um, and I've worked out to the height of the top of the bearers it's generally about 60 mil from the carpet to the top of the bearer the bearer being the timber that sits on all the packers so we use a selection of Packers from mills to three mills, 12, sixes, 18s, whatever we need. We've got bags of them. When we have off cuts in the workshop, we just cut them up into packers, so we've got bags of them. So once all the materials were in, um, I did the bearers and Sean started on all the carcasses. So it took me a good couple of hours to get these bearers down, but remember, once the bearers are down, there is no leveling. Once the carcasses are built, they just slip on top. It is um, just amazing how fast they go together once the um, bearers are down. So yeah, people who know me and watch my videos quite often know that I don't use any other technique other than the bearer system, which is packers. And the 44 by 90 mil timbers that go on top, bearers. There we go, so we did quite well today. As you can see, I, I don't even think it's past one o'clock at this stage, possibly two something like that and all the carcasses are in um, the drawers are um, fitted using um, cheek system so the cheeks as you can see in that little slot there they're 25 mil pieces or 26 mil um, open ear pieces with a little notch taken out for the hinge to sit at the bottom the runners fit on those the drawers slip in so we utilize as much space as possible we don't do boxing in or anything like that just two side panels um, so yeah once all the carcasses are in we um, stabilize that corner screwed that whole corner together fix all the carcasses down to the bearers which gives 70 percent of the um, strength instantly and then one um, fixing in each corner the end panel corner against the wall and around the right hand corner somewhere around there um, just to stabilize it all and it's absolutely solid so um, yeah, we did really, really well. This job took two days to fit in total, I think. Possibly not in two days, maybe a day and a half. Some, for some reason it just flew by and um, we got so much done on this job. We didn't have any problems whatsoever. It just went in um, perfectly. Um, everything was correct, no problems whatsoever. So Sean generally jumps on the trims while I fiddle around with fitting the trims, the ones that he's cut and um, we had to get that corner piece in first and then the doors, um, as you can see the corner upright piece as you can see there next to the door, that went in first. So Sean does trims generally, I fit them when he brings them or I'm hanging doors and fitting other panels. Um, Sean is pretty good at measuring up so I leave that to him because he's, he's pretty quick at it. Um, he's got a lot of motivation when it comes to these trims whereas um, yeah, He's, he's quicker than the old old boy nowadays. Um, yeah, he's got a lot more motivation than me. So as you can see, the doors were up against the wall there where I hinged all of them. It took me about 45 minutes to take all the hinges out of the bags, adjust them back and fit them to all the doors, put the grommets on the doors. There you can see I'm, in just, I'm putting hinges on the doors there. We use packers at the bottom to line up with the bottom of the carcass because our doors are the, basically the heights of the carcass. Um, from top to bottom so we put packers on to the underside of the carcass and then rest the door 90 degrees on it one person holds with six mil packers in between the carcass and the edge of the door we then screw the hinges on we don't pre-drill holes on the carcasses it's all freestyle there we go we're just working out all the handles masking tape on there working out to make sure they're all centered double check them these were really really nice handles customers supplied these um, yeah so all trims are all done um, all that's left to do is clean down, polish, hoover, uh, you know, make sure it's all nice and tidy for the customer right at the end. That's the most important bit. We didn't wear boots in the house, we had dust sheets down, 
you can see we're not wearing any shoes or anything like that. So it's all clean and tidy now. Sean's been putting all the tools away while I do all the cleaning down. It's a good teamwork here. I do a few touch-ups as you can see, not many. Um, it's just a little dab with a brush, really fine brush, artist brush. Once I'm happy, I get the silicone out and go around with the silicone, which doesn't take me long. I'm pretty good at it now after doing it for 12 years. And yeah, it's getting close. So once this is all done, it will hoover up the floor, make sure everything's nice and clean and tidy. Handles just get screwed on and we are nearly there. So a day and a half in, two of us, including unloading the van, fitting, cleaning down, everything, job done. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Yeah, thumbs up, like and subscribe. And yeah, hope you enjoy the montage of photos coming up of um, how we fitted it. Um, a few close up photos of all the um, details. Um, remember, like and subscribe. Subscribing is very important. We're just trying to get our subscriber count out of the public. So, anyway, great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. See you next Sunday.